Hi, my name is Fred Breton from BMC Technical Marketing and today I will demonstrate some big value you can get with BMC Middleware Automation, BMA. BMA product automates the long list of discrete tasks needed to configure and deploy application on GEE application servers. It simplifies the process and makes it easier and less expensive. To achieve this, BMA has some innovative and powerful capabilities. First, it allows to deploy applications and configure application servers in an intelligent and automated manner. It even allows vertical and horizontal migrations for some platforms. Second important capability is to snapshot and compare configurations and to provide an inventory of differences across environments and time. Last but not least is to automatically roll back if all or part of installation fails and never leaves the application server in a non-functioning state. It also allows to roll back changes that have been applied but that are not expected. BMC Middleware Automation provides an extensive platform support from WebSphere 5.1 to 8.5, WebSphere Portal, Processes Server, WebLogic from 8.1 to 12C, GBoss AS and EAP, Tomcat, Geronimo and even TC Server. In the following demo we will focus on WebSphere and GBoss platform and I will show an application migration process from WebSphere 7 to GBoss EAP 6.3. I'm here in the BMA console and the first thing I need to do for managing my application server infrastructure is to create a server profile in which I define how to connect to the managers. Actually, we can see the server profile defining the credentials to connect to my GBoss EAP 6.3 environment. For the purpose of my demo, I have a WebSphere 7 environment started with two servers on one node and an application, GPET store, that is running. I also have a GBoss domain. Mm, it is not started. Never mind, I can start it directly from BMC Middleware Automation Console in one click. Now that it is started, I can see that my on my GBoss environment, I have no application deployed, and I have only the default GDBC data source. I can also see the topology of my GBoss environment directly from the BMA console. Now, first thing I will do before modifying anything in this environment is to take a snapshot of its configuration to save it. You can browse the snapshot and notify it from a nice parser. We can even have access directly to the resulting file. You can also rename it, and here I will name it as a reference snapshot. So now I will go to the process of migrating my GPET store application from WebSphere to GBoss. First thing I need to do is to take a snapshot of my WebSphere environment where my GPET store application is running. From it, I generate a diagram to analyze the minimum scope I need to migrate for my application can run. On this diagram, I can quickly see that my application has one module that is running on server prod one and that the module is using a GDBC resource. This GDBC resource is on scope of not prod. So to migrate my application, I need to migrate configurations from not prod and from server prod one. To migrate my application and its associated resources, I need to generate a configuration file that I will be able to deploy to my GBoss environment and that contains one has to be deployed for my application to run. I can generate this from my WebSphere 7 snapshot in a very easy way, right-clicking on the WebSphere 7 snapshot and selecting Migrate Configuration. I then select the server profile that was used to take the snapshot, the targeted platform, and I check that I want to export the applications. Then I select the output folder where the configuration file and the application archive will be stored. I select the migration mode and here I take the node level. Then I select the node and the server 
on which the application is running and in last I select the application I want to migrate. The migration file has been created and a report about its creation has been generated. In the report we can see which tokens have been created to allow substitution in the configuration file for values that are dependent of the environment. Tokens will depend of what we are migrating. The point is that when I will deploy the configuration file, I will need to provide values for all those tokens regarding the reality of my targeted environment. To do so, I have the capability to define token set in my server profiles to store the values that I want to use for specific token when I target specific server profile. I provided all the values that match with my GBoss environment. Here, it is about SQL driver, module name, username, password to use, targeted profiles as GBoss is running in a domain mode. I can now deploy to my GBoss environment the configuration file that I've generated from the WebSphere 7 environment and that has been properly tokenized. After the deployment has been done, BMC Middleware Automation generates a report that contains all the changes that have been applied. If we go to the GBoss console, we can see that the GDPC data source has been well created and the connection to the database is working. Application has been deployed and we just need to assign it to a server group to start it. I can now to connect to my application and validate that it is well running. My migration is a success. Let's go back to BMC Middleware Automation to see another big value of the solution that is the ability to check configuration changes over the time. I take a snapshot of my GBoss environment, then I compare it with the snapshot I took before the migration deployment. I've now the details of the changes that happened during this time frame. If there is a clear value to be able to audit configuration drifts over the time, BMC Middleware Automation also allows to generate a configuration file to roll back those changes if we wish it. In this example, the rollback will mean to remove the GPET Store application and its associated resources that we just deployed. After I have executed my rollback file, I can validate that my application is not anymore running in my GBoss environment. During this demo, I showed how it is easy to migrate configurations from WebSphere to GBoss with BMC Middleware Automation. I also demonstrated how we can improve application and system configuration consistency, drastically reducing application downtime and release cycle management. Thanks for your attention.